In this lesson, we're going to take a look at St. James Infirmary. I, uh, I actually didn't know this song. Tony turned me on to it. Um, it's a really cool tune. Everybody from uh, Louis Armstrong to Billie Holiday to Doc Watson have uh, done very, very different versions of it. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do with this. I'm drawn pretty heavily from the Doc Watson version. Um, there's a lot of cool uh, strumming patterns and uh, some cool chord voicings. So here we go. One, two, three. I went down to the St. James Infirmary I heard sweet baby groan Nobody down there could cheer me Cause I knew she'd soon be gone as I was standing there grieving My heart feeling just like lead Would knowing she'd soon be leaving But wishing it was me instead This is all kind of comes out from one uh, pattern that goes on with your right hand that just keeps going almost all the way through. Uh, I'm going to show you that before we actually start. So what it is, is you have, um, you're playing the, uh, the bass with your thumb, then you have an upstroke with your first finger, and then you kind of have a flick on the second and third strings with your first finger. So it goes upstroke with your first finger downstroke with your first finger, and then you have an upstroke with your ring finger. So it all looks like this. Up, down, up. Thumb, up, down, up. Thumb, up, down, up. And you can kind of get that rolling. So then, as you get that down, you can start alternating bass. What that means is you're alternating between the root and the fifth of the chord. The fifth is on, for this chord, uh, it's on the second fret of the fifth string. So the right hand keeps doing the same thing, or you're just playing the, uh, the different root every time. So you've got the root, and then the fifth, and then the root, and then the fifth. And then you keep the, the upstroke with your first finger, downstroke with your first finger, and then upstroke with your ring finger. So all together, one more time, looks like this. I missed that time. It takes a little bit of coordination to get it down, but once you get it, it your hand kind of learns what it feels like and then it'll kind of start taking control. Then really all you're doing is you're passing chords with your uh, with your left hand. So you've got the you know and then the C, B7. Uh, but this really just stays the same. You're moving your thumb around to get the various roots but that's it. So, right, here's the first solo of uh, St. James Infirmary. You're going to start with your first finger on the third fret of the first string to the fifth fret of the first string with your third finger and then you're going to go up to the seventh fret of the first string with your third finger. Play that twice more. Now you're going to pre-bend the fifth fret of the first string uh, and then release the bend. See how I bend it up. Uh, Strike the string, let it come down, and then play the third fret. Now land on the fifth fret of the second string. 
The second riff is really similar. You're gonna start the same way. So three, five of the first string. Now you're gonna land on the seventh fret of the first string. You can give a little bit of vibrato. And now you're gonna pre-bend again. Release to the third fret. Now you're gonna hammer back on from the third to the fifth fret of the first string. Now the third riff is real similar. You're gonna do the same uh, intro. Three, five. Now you're gonna play the seventh fret uh, five times. Now you're gonna do that same bend. You're gonna pre-bend from seven or uh, from the fifth fret. Land on the third fret. Now play the fifth fret of the second string three times. Now you're gonna reach out and get the second fret of the first string. Now to the third fret. You can do a little trill here. It's all it is. It's just you're on the third fret. Now you just go down to the second fret of the first string. Hammer on your third finger to the third, fring, uh, the third fret and pull it off. That's all. And land on the second fret. Uh, uh, now you're gonna land on the fifth fret of the second string. Third fret of the second string. Now you're gonna slide from the, uh, the second fret to the fourth fret, down to the second fret. Now pinky goes to the, or third finger, whichever you prefer, uh, on the fifth fret of the fourth string, and then land with your second finger, or I'm sorry, your first finger, on the second fret of the fourth string. I knew she'd soon be gone. 